two of the biggest superpowers in Commonwealth Wrestling meeting head-on on the mat in the final. Here is the Canadian, Arjun Gill, from some Kesnell in Canada. In the World Championships in 2010, he finished inside the top 25. And that was when he was still a teenager. And Kadayan, the Indian, only just out of his teens, just turned uh, 20. And this is the man who's in charge of the match, our referee, Mr. Keelan, from the British Wrestling Federation. Kadayan then of India in blue, Gill of Canada in red. This, the gold medal match. Yes, the Indian would be hoping uh, not to get another silver medal. We've already had three tonight. He'd be wanting to try and get a gold on the second day of wrestling here. The Canadian hasn't had as tough opponents as the Indian in the other half of the draw of the bracket. So the Indian will be the favorite. Yeah, we've already had one uh, India versus Canada matchup tonight. David Tremblay beating Bajrang in the men's 61 kilo class gold medal bout the Canadian. And uh, it'll be interesting because in many ways, the Indian here is favorite again to take the win. But the Canadian, uh, very experienced, more experienced in many ways than the Indian. Yeah, he's tall and rangy. Both fighters just feeling their way into it at the moment. Nobody wanted to make any mistakes. But um, it could be a warning here. Passivity against the Canadian. That's a new rule. If you don't attack, don't come forward. You get a warning, first of all, and then it could turn into a penalty point. That's why the wrestling has been so exciting here this week. Because of the new rules, you have to attack. Kadayan just pushing around Gil here. Yes. The Indian in blue looks perhaps the stronger of the two. Very tough man as well. He won his World Championship Junior Bronze with... A broken ankle yeah and that's that just shows you the measure of the man he went for the snap down there then just pushed his opponent out of the area and gets the one point one point for a push out very much like sumo style but the most basic ways of scoring of course take the other man down to the mat get a score of two take him down to his back you'll get a score of four hold him down on his back you'll pin him and that'll be it over those are the basics of wrestling Yes, and if you get 10 clear points over your opponent as well, that marks the end of the whole fight. You won't go into a second period. Kadayan just using uh, the Canadian's body weight there, pulling him past. It's only just 1-0 at the moment, but it looks like the Indian's just the stronger of the two. Yeah, he's controlling the head, isn't he? He's not letting the Canadian get in, which is why he's being warned for passivity. He's controlling the head and the arm there. So making it very difficult for the Canadian to attack. Yeah, right now, no man committing to the attack. No one wants to make a big mistake, a big error. Yeah, with these big men, as we saw in the earlier fights, they can counter-attack each other so easily using each other's body weight against them so nobody wants to go in they're both very cagey still but i think the indian is dominating then he goes for the single can he get him out yes he can that's another point for the indian he was very quick there two points two nil up the indian and uh, we have just a few seconds left of this period Yes, and the Indian dominated that, didn't he? Nothing much happened, but he just picked up the two points that he needed to take the lead. So they're sent back to their corner for 30 seconds. Both men sheeted in sweat here. It's getting pretty hot inside the wrestling hole. Let's have a little look back here. It was just two push-outs in the end. Yes, but he takes the leg, there it is, and then he drives him out of the area for the point. But we're not seeing any big attacks yet. So 
Well, there must be towel down, no sweat on the body. And the Indian coach is there. There's a whole lot of body to towel down with these big guys. <laughs> and Kadayan comes back out. The Indian in blue. Gill of Canada in red. Difficult to see how Gill is going to get into this match. The Indian looks the stronger, doesn't he? He's controlling the arm there and the head. He does, yes, though the points difference is so small at the moment. One good move from Gill, and he'll be right back in it. A bit of finger bending there, and that, of course, is not allowed. A warning. He looks over to the match chairman and gives him a nod. The Indian's got to be careful. It's oh. not a game of mercy. The Canadian shoots, and there's your two points. And that's his first attack of the match. Brilliant. He took the single leg, takes down to the ground, gets the two points. And has he got the energy to roll him? No, he's got to be careful there. That's a reversal. Well, that's exactly where uh, sweat helps play a factor. The Indian just slipped right off him, and he reversed it. 3-2 now. One point for the reversal. Yes, he tried to go for the gut wrench, but didn't quite have the grip. And the Indian slipped round the back of the Canadian, and that's called a reversal, and you get a point. So they're back up onto their feet. Just over two minutes to go of this deciding final period of freestyle wrestling in this men's 97 kilo gold medal match. Yes, Gil knows he's got nothing to lose. He's going to leave everything on the mat. He doesn't want the Indian to control his head. He's moving away from him. In that first round, he got tied in time after time. But he's busying himself now. Can he get him down? Oh, but he loses the point, and the Indian gets it. Well done. That was very quick there. Another point for Blue. For Blue. Backwards and forwards. That could have gone either way. Both men showing great speed for their size. But the one point as the Canadian step back out onto the Blue. So India, Kadayan up 4-2 at the moment yes he did well there the canadian he thought he was going to push the indian out onto the blue zone but he managed to spin it around and pick up another point but gill's given it all here isn't he well we thought he was being neutralized there earlier but he shot for the leg and you can see the match chairman in the background raises his hand and says yes i think there's a bit of passivity going on here yep. 30 seconds he says a warning and uh, it's given to the Indian, saying the Indian is just trying to kill off the match. It's being too passive. So, Kadayan has 30 seconds now in which to score. If he doesn't, then the Canadian will get an automatic penalty point. Yes, and that's the rule that's uh, really helped making this wrestling more exciting to watch and making sure it's back in the Olympics in 2020. And the rule changes have certainly made a difference. So, no, he doesn't score. Happy to give a point away. Back to 4-3. Well, it uh, certainly hasn't changed who's in the lead, but suddenly 4-3, a single takedown from the Canadian, no matter how he takes him down, and he'll go into the lead. That point score should change to 4-3. 30 seconds under of this second and final period. Gill knows he's going to try and drive him out, and he will get a point for that. One to the red for a piece well the indian is throwing this away he dominated that first period but the canadian has really come back at him here well, this will come down to uh, if it's equal at the end the Kadayan will get the win because he had the takedown, the higher scoring move, a two-pointer, yep. and that's it, it's over. Now, let's just double-check that before we say it officially. Yep, he got the two points, didn't he? So, is the highest score should win, or is it the last person to score? Let's check. Yes, it was a... Uh, Gil was I don't think even the rest penalty was points. <laughs> it needs to be double-checked here. And uh, the crowd are all waiting in anticipation. Yes, it is the Indian, is it? Well, it should oh, be done, and who scored the highest points? And uh, in the end, it's uh, Kill of Canada. They had the marker yes. on the Indian's name, uh, but actually it should be done the highest points, then cautions, second, 
And it's given over to the Canadian for the win. Yeah, he scored four points, and one of the points for the Indian was that penalty caution. So they both did a two, and of course, let's get our heads around this, because they both did a two, it's the last scoring two <laughs> that gets the win. That's how it happened, and that was the takedown that did it. His takedown came later. Well, that's how complicated the, rush, the wrestling, wrestling rules are sometimes. But we got there in the end, and well done, Canada. That's another gold medal, and unfortunately, another silver for India. Well, to add to David Tremblay's gold from earlier, and uh, that's when it really comes down to a technicality, the Canadian winning it on the higher score, which was equal to the Indians too. Look at that. <laughs> quite a flip for a big man but his came later in the match and that's what it came down to in that draw